Hey, welcome back to Deer Corner. Glad to see you. I'm glad to be with you. Um, got a new toy here for up at the cabin. Uh, got me a Sunforce 400 watt wind turbine. But uh, up on the hill where I got the cabin, there's always a breeze. So it should work. We're going to find out. Now it's 400 watts. I only need 80 watts out of this thing. That's all I need. But what I'm going to do with it is my outside lighting, I want to cut off the cabin. I want to put it on its own little power source because like I said on my other video with my um, solar you build on it and I'm going to build on this solar system but just to run my outside lighting therefore I can add more to the cabin so if I could get 80 watts out of this generator um, it will run my outside lighting like my pole light and my motion lights and I won't be draining anything off my cabin so I'm going to be putting it up. I'll be showing how I put it up and install it. But I just want to go through this with you because um, I'm doing something different here. My solar is working fine. I have no issues with it. And right now I'm going to be building more to the cabin. I'm going to go ahead and start finishing the upstairs, getting it closed in and ready. And... I need just to add a little more power here and take it away from out there. So let me just kind of explain how I'm going to be doing this. Just in case you're looking at doing something like this, I'm just going to give you my way I'm going to be doing it. And uh, let me just bring you along. This is my 400 watt 12 volt wind turbine generator. It's metal cased, it's made out of metal, and it has fiber blades. So, and the ratings on it are very well, but like I say, all I need to get is 80 watts, and that's all I need out of this. It's supposed to produce more than that, but if I get more, that's fine. I won't need it, but that's what I'm looking for. But I'll be installing that here shortly. Okay, now as my system's running now, I have my three 200 watt solar panels that run through my 30 amp controller, runs over to my batteries, my batteries up to my fuses, and then my fuse is out of one of my fuses, my 50 amp fuse, I'm running it around to my outside lighting. Now. What I'm putting in will be my solar generator to another 30 amp controller to another battery, a single battery, and then to the outside lighting. I'm also, if I need it, I'm bringing a line up to a two-way switch. So if I'm working on, if this controller goes bad or I'm working and cleaning my power, my solar panels or something that I can still control my batteries by turning this switch and that will run out of my controller my batteries back to these batteries then over here I'm going to eliminate this hook up here coming from my system to my light and I will eliminate that wire also, if something's happening here or into this controller, I can turn that switch, two-way switch on and open so it can back feed back to this light. But I'm wanting to eliminate my main system from my outside lights. And that's what I came up with. And uh, we're going to be installing that and I'll show that and show you how we're doing it. 
so but that's how I'm going to be putting in my wind turbine and wiring it up and uh, I'm going to bring you along when we put it in put it up so I'm glad you come along um, go ahead and subscribe help the channel out and I'm going to bring more projects coming in I got some coming up and God willing and the crick don't rise I'll be here to get them done so thanks for coming along and uh, please if you're going hunting hunt safe brother be smart